Hello and welcome to another installment of AA Computers and Technology. I hope you enjoyed that cheesy little intro I made in Blender. And today we are going to be taking a look at this KingSpec solid state drive that I got off Amazon for under $20. This is a 16 gigabyte solid state drive, um, SATA 3 interface. I believe the website said it was capable of write speeds um, around 100 megabytes and read speeds around uh, 200 megabytes per second. Um, but we will confirm that when we benchmark it. But first, let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box and then we will get to our benchmarking and all that other good stuff. So let's not wait any longer. Let's take this thing out of the box. It's actually pretty nice packaging for the price I paid for it. For 20 bucks, you get a, uh, you get a solid state drive and some really nice packaging to go along with it. All right, well, it's a bit of a struggle to get it out. Whoa, 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 almost knocked the camera over. That's scary because I just got a brand new camera and I would have been really PO'd if it fell over. All right, um, we got out of the first box, second box. Wow, look at that. Isn't that neat? There's some, uh, <laughs> I guess, velvet padding. I feel like I, pen I, feel like I paid $10 just for the packaging right now because this is some really nice packaging. And then right here, you can see our solid, our solid state drive in its anti-static bag. And then along with that, there's also some screws and that's about it. You get a solid state drive, uh, some screws, and then uh, huh, you don't get a manual or anything, which is kind of weird, but all right. I mean, you really don't need a manual, but it would be nice. So there we go. That's what comes in the package, screws and a solid state drive. So look at this, this is interesting. Um, caution, warranty will be void if the seal is broken or removed, which means you, you can't actually open the solid state drive um, without voiding the warranty, which makes absolutely no sense because you should be able to test it out first, right? And then if it doesn't work, you should return it. But if you take it out of the bag, period, it voids the warranty, which is stupid. That makes absolutely no sense. Um, but who cares? Let's open it anyway, right? Ah, we don't need a warranty. It's going to work. All right, I'm just going to put my fingers in here and wah. Took that thing right out. Ooh, and the uh, solid state drive itself is actually plastic. <laughs> As you can hear, it sounds pretty flimsy. Um, but what do you expect for $18? It's not bad. I mean, it doesn't bend in my hands or anything, so uh, not too big of a deal. And as you can see, we have the 16 gigabyte version. Um, as I said earlier, it's a 2.5 inch solid state drive. So you can put in your laptop or you can get an adapter bracket and uh, put in your desktop. Um, so let's go ahead and I want to throw this. I really want to throw this in the laptop and benchmark it. Um, so why not? Let's go ahead. Obviously, before we get started, you're probably going to want to know my system specifications. This is a ASUS G75 VW laptop. I have a Intel Core i7 running at 2.3 gigahertz. This is a quad-core processor with eight threads. I have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. And along with that, my operating system is installed on um, a one terabyte hard drive spinning at, I believe, around 5,600 RPM. And if it makes any difference to you guys, I have a GeForce GTX 660M with 2 gigabytes of video memory, which, I mean, the GPU shouldn't really play a role in benchmarking, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I just got lazy and took a screenshot of the specifications off uh, Amazon. Um, so if you really care, you can go ahead and read all those. But if you're like me, go ahead and skip ahead and let's benchmark this thing. Okay, so for the price, the read speeds are actually decent, but when you look at the write speeds, you're kind of like, it, what's going on here? I mean, there is such a difference between the read and write speeds, it's crazy. But look at this, sequential writing and sequential reading. Writing, 90 megabytes per second. Reading, 250 megabytes per second. That is an insane difference. What, what is going on here? If you if you benchmark uh, any other high-end solid-state drive, um, even a basic hard drive, the read and write speeds are going to be similar, but in this case they're not, which is weird. It's something I've never seen before. Maybe you guys have seen it before, but 
Um, with my experience with hard drives, this has never happened. This is weird. And just for comparison, I have uh, my actual hard drive benchmarked, and the uh, solid state drive did indeed do um, a lot better. But it's a solid state drive, what do you expect? It should do a lot better than this 5200 RPM hard drive. But I just can't get over the difference between the read and write speeds. That is just funky. There's no other word to describe it besides funky. That's really weird. Yeah, but you can go ahead, take in all those specs, um, think of it as you will. It's a $20 solid state drive. What do you expect? Um, it's decent enough. I'm going to use it in a Pentium 4 machine to speed it up. So this is going to do exactly that for me. I'm not really worried about it. Um, for the money, it's definitely a pretty good deal. You get what you pay for and a little bit more. I really just wanted to keep this little video as short and sweet as possible, so we're going to end right here. Um, you got to see me unbox the product, you got to see the benchmarks and the specs. So um, as far as uh, did we cover everything, I believe we did. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post a comment in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This has been a review on the KingSpec solid state drive that I got off Amazon for $20. I will see you in my next video.